Behind every great DJ performance was a great DJ playlist. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make playlists in DJ Pro AI. The way to get to your playlist is going to be going over here to these blinking music select buttons. We're gonna press this button after you press the music button. It may look a little confusing, but I'm here to help. We're gonna go over here to this drop down menu. I'm going to go drop down, and then now we have our sources. What this means is where we're getting our music from. We have our streaming services. We have music on our iPad. This music button is not Apple Music. You cannot DJ with Apple Music. It's just the music on your device. And then we're going to go to My Collections. Other apps like Serato call it Crates. Other apps call it Playlist. This app calls it My Collections. So My Collections equals Playlist. So we are going to click on that, and then here we're gonna have our playlist. If you've never used the app before, then this is gonna look completely blank. So there are some options here. The one at the top left, obviously, is to go back to the other sources. The one over here is to maximize it to get a bigger view. So you press these arrows here, and then that's how you unmaximize it, and then search. Now, searching through here is only going to search through songs that you have in your collection. So if you're looking for a song and you're using a streaming service, you have to go back to your streaming service and then now we could search any song in the world through the database of the streaming service that you're using. But if you use the search bar in the My Collection section, it's just gonna search through songs that you have in your playlist. Keep that in mind. It could be frustrating and it took me a while to figure that one out. To start our first playlist, what we're going to do is we are gonna press the plus button. And then now we have three options. We have playlist, we have smart playlist. You guys could check out one of these videos and I went into detail about smart, smart playlist. And then we have playlist folders. So a playlist folder is essentially a playlist inside of a playlist. So to make one of those for this example, we are gonna do 80s music. And then once you add a playlist, it's going to go all the way to the bottom of the list. You could change this by holding the playlist and then scrolling up. So this way you don't have to scroll through all your playlists. Let's say you made a playlist for a specific gig, which you guys should always do. Then you could put it to the top so it's easy to find. Or maybe if we were doing like the, the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, we could have it go in order. It's whatever makes sense to you. Nobody else is gonna look at these playlists except you. So make sure it makes sense to you. And then inside this playlist, this is a playlist folder. So this playlist folder, we're gonna press it and then we could add a new playlist. And then we get to three options again. You could either put another playlist folder in this playlist folder or do a smart playlist or do a playlist. For this example, let's do a playlist for disco. And then let's add another playlist for rock music. So now let's say you're, you're DJing at a party and you see someone that looks like they like the 80s, probably someone that looks like my mom. And then you go to 80s music and then you go to disco, or you could go to rock music. You see some rockers in the crowd, you can go to rock music. But now how do we add songs to these playlists? So let's just start a new one, and let's call this one X Ample. So let's bring it all the way to the top. It's all the way at the top. And then now we have a playlist. So now instead of add a playlist, it says add songs. So how do we add songs to this playlist? Press the add songs button, and then you could go from library, and then this will go through, this will go through all of them, or you could go to title and search, or you could just do this. You could go to your music select button, and then we could go to title, and then let's search a song. For this example, we'll use my favorite artist, 50 Cent. And now 50 Cent in the club, best song ever. There's gonna be these three dots next to these songs, and then you could add it to your favorite, add it to queue, or you could add it to a playlist. You click on add it to playlist, and then we're gonna to scroll to our example, and now it's in there. Let's just do this one, add the playlist, example, add the playlist. So now if we go back to our collections, and in example, we see a couple of things. We see the, the number of songs, and then something that's really, really helpful is the amount of time. So if you're doing a DJ gig, a quick rule of thumb, depending on how fast you mix, if you're doing a four hour gig, you should have double like eight to 10 hours of songs. So having this right here saves you from doing the math of adding the times of the songs. So that's very interesting. 
And then we have BPM. So if you if it's easier for you to mix based on BPM, you could do that. You could also do key artist album and it'll just put it in order for you. Again, this is what is easier for you and your style of DJing. And then we can edit. So to edit, you press the pencil here and then you could select it, actions, you could delete it, add the cue, ex you could export to CSV file. That means you'll get a, you could have like a printout. And there we go, we made a playlist. And then you could also delete songs by swiping left, delete, swiping left, and delete. So I hope this helped you guys get the basic feel of making playlists. Do not do what I did at my first gigs and just show up with no playlist and just type stuff into my streaming service and looked like an accountant and was really stressed out. Please, if you're doing a gig, make a gig specific playlist. It'll make the whole thing more fun for you and the people there to dance. So if you found value in this video, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like.